Hello, welcome to the Wave Rider YouTube channel. Edition one, page one. <laughs> page one. So, 3rd of July, this is going to be the start of our summer cruise. We took delivery of the boat back in April, and this is our first actual day on the boat as a family heading to Corsica. We were supposed to go to where today? Il Fuor. Yeah, that was the plan. The plan Just was to go west to. West of Marseille. Yeah, but the wind has been quite strong, and I think we've been hitting 29 knots of wind, so we've decided to make a bit of a shortcut and head to this small anchorage, Port Saint Louis du Rhône, in uh, near Marseille in France. So. I don't think we are near Marseille now. We are not too far away. Anyway, I'm Neil. This is Karen. Karen. And this video is really for our family, but anybody that watches it, you're more than welcome to join in and subscribe if you want to. And you can't possibly have already been subscribed because this is our first ever video. And that was Luke. Luke Hi. is going to be our video blogger and editor. So when there's lots of memes in the video, that's Luke. <laughs> They're called memes, memes, aren't they? Yeah. Memes, 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 whatever. Dad. Yeah. So the plan is to head to Corsica, where we hope to meet up with Sizzle, which is Simon and Sally. They're going to be setting off two weeks behind us once they get their boat out of Nouvage. Nouvage is where the boat is um, made Checked new ready. after sailing, after trying it out and making sure everything works. And we've just completed our Nouvage, took back the boat this week and we're away. So hopefully we shouldn't need to go back to Outrema, which is where this boat was made. And the plan now is to get over to Greece as quickly as we can, where it should be sunny, windy, meet with lots of friends. And enjoy the Greek food. Today. Bloody lobster pots. We set off from La Grande Motte here yeah. mm. and we're travelling to this island here, which is just west of Marseille. Making good time. Mm -hmm. How long have we been going for? An hour and 18 minutes, max speed 9.7. Is doing his vlog. You happy, Captain? Yeah, so far so good. So we've got to our first anchorage. It wasn't where we were hoping to be because we had 28 knots of wind today, so we came in a bit earlier. Right next to this cat, sheltered in alongside this wall. It's called Saint Louis Saint Jerome. Okay, so moving on from family introductions, we're going to do a quick boat tour just so everyone knows what we're talking about. So we start from the back of the boat. This is our tender. It's an OC tender from New Zealand. She's called Ryder. Ryder has a Mercury engine on the back of her. One second while I walk around. There she is. Quite a powerful little engine. Does the job nicely. Okay, so 
going forward you have to excuse the mess it's been quite a rough journey getting here this is our outside dining area and our little outside seating area we have two screens port and starboard and then going forwards fishing rod holder although we haven't yet caught a fish you have to excuse the wind when we go up here okay so there's the mainsail going forwards yep it's definitely windy today have the anchor bridle on we're about four meters four meters of water at the moment we're in a bit of a, a rough what do you class it as i don't know an oil storage depot lots of tankers coming in and out it's quite a nice uh, area for the tankers but not so nice for a cruising yacht there's the front view of the boat and the trampolines we have six sails on this boat we have a Jenica Code Zero um, we have obviously the main sail and the jib we also have a Genoa and a spinnaker actually we have two spinnings we have an asymmetric and a symmetrical spinnaker so looking forwards, we have two sail lockers, obviously containing those sails, and the tender, all the fenders are in there as well, excuse me. We have a generator, Fisher Panda generator in this locker. Which also has the flat fenders in it. Very useful when we're doing the posts. That's our generator, fuel tanks. Windless. And in this big one here, another fuel tank. Archer pressure washer and one of our folding bikes. We have two of these rad bikes, very useful. Big fat tyres on them, capable of carrying a lot of weight. Ideal for the remote lake locations we think we're going to be in next year. Carrying on down the side of the sail locker. Main bathroom. Lovely seating area. And our steering wheel folds in so we can sit either on the bench, lean against it, or we can actually take it inside and steer from the inside of the boat. So moving into the kitchen area. You doing a walk around? There's one missus. Air fryer, save energy and all that. Coffee machine, couldn't manage on the boat without a coffee machine in the morning. Lots of computers, iPads, big screen for the navigation. Rooms and hard over this for quite a long time, but in the end we decided it was very worthwhile. Big glass helm, ideal for, you can actually watch the glass helm while you're steering from inside the boat. If we're at the steering locations on either side, like that. We also have a TV and a sound bar when we're stuck in places like this with nothing to do. And going down into the owner's hull. Main bedroom. No air conditioning in this one, as well as fans everywhere. Those are the mattresses for the sleeping on the in the salon if we need to little makeup area which I use, also use as a workspace and forward into the owner's bathroom which is pretty good I must say works very well okay we'll go down to the other hole it's 
So this is where Luke's living at the moment. So in the big bedroom first, not just getting out of the room. This is our miscellaneous box of bits for sailing the boat. And then into the uh, spare main bedroom. So if you are going to be a guest on board, this is where you'll be staying. Plenty of ventilation, plenty of fans, wardrobe space. Oops, got one of the panels off because we spilled a bit of water. And through and into Luke's bedroom. Not quite sure about the, uh, the furnishings in here, but hey ho, it's not everybody's choice. And then down here we also have a nice shower area. And so, like that. And then the toilet facilities. Uh, also pretty good. Okay, lots of under storage, under floor storage, okay. two large fridges, freezer, eggs in the floor Each storage. Each of these has one of them in. Yeah. We also have a little firewall here that allows us to get the TV from the UK which is very handy and then anybody that's staying on board gets one of these boxes you'll get a colour that has your life jacket in it which has an AIS beacon in it and other safety features such as lights, whistles etc. Let me speak it. I really like these seats that are in the living here so they go that way down for sitting at the table but then you can turn them up put them on this very cool breakfast bar Just need a glass of wine. Hmm. Not unusual. Right, Luke, where are you going? Give us a hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we're, uh, the wind seems to be dying down now, so I think we might actually be able to get going again in the morning. Might get an early start, maybe half past seven if we're lucky, if Karen can get out of bed in time. Uh, excuse me. So it looks like, yeah, wind's definitely died down. I think we've got 15 to 18 knots of wind tomorrow behind us, so I think we'll get the code zero out. It might Hopefully work in our favour. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But hopefully it'll be on the east side of the spit that comes out, not the west side, so it should be a bit we'll more show protected. You what, we'll show you on the map. Yeah, we'll show you on the map where we're heading for. And then uh, probably one more stop before we head down to Corsica. And I think that's probably it for and now. Down Sardinia, maybe. And then down Sardinia. Yeah, picks and crew up. You're up for it there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, see, see you soon. soon.